Sometimes we use our mouth to abort our destiny. Sometimes we to talk too much. Sometimes we, we don't have to. We speak to the wrong people. We don't know who to take our dreams to. They will abort our destiny. Remember in the Bible when Joseph had that dream. Joseph did not know that he was talking to the wrong people. His own brother kidnapped him to kill him. May God make it for his own good, for his own good. If Joseph was not with God, Joseph could have lost his destiny, could have died. So sometimes we are just excited. You have that dream that you're going to open that business. You just call that your friend, you're telling her, Angelica, I want to open this business. Angelica, <clears throat> Angelica I want to start this profession. I want to go study that course. I want to do this. I want to do this. You're just telling, I want to build this house. I want to know, I don't know the project you're about to do. But all that vision, all that big dreams you're seeing. I want to go to school. I want to have this profession. I want to get married. I want to my wife to be like this you're just so excited you don't know that you're talking to your enemy sometimes we need to keep quiet sometimes we are speaking to the wrong people so who are you talking to who are you telling your dreams to who are you telling your plan to sometimes they were about it then they say hey eh, eh. so you want to show like that then but spiritually they stop everything or oh, something that was going on well all of a sudden just come to an end you begin to have a father god i don't know my life it is how my life is or not her door wants to open. Fair, you have called um Paulina. Paulina, Paulina, I want to tell you something. I just want this. I just want this. I'm about to travel. I'm about to go to long Hong Kong. Paulina, I'm about to uh, I've been giving this offer. I've been doing you have the offer I've never arrived your hand. You just keep talking. You, you cannot keep talking. You just Susanna, I make 15 million today. Pa, pa, pa. You're just talking. All of a sudden, everything just come to an end. I'm telling this out of experience. These are things I did not know in the beginning, and I suffered a lot. So I don't. You have to be careful. Who are you telling your dreams to? Who are you telling your destiny? They will abort it. Some people abort your dreams. They abort your destiny. Some people will abort it before time. They will abort it. My people, you have to be careful. Who are you talking to? Who are you telling your plans to? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? You might be talking to your own enemies without you knowing. Okay, let's go to the Bible and see. I like, I like the life of John the Baptist. The father's name was Zachariah. Zachariah was a man of God, a faithful servant of God. But for a long time, he could not have children. Sometimes good things, bad things happen to good people. You might be saving God, you might be there in that field. But you're hoping for that thing to happen, that breakthrough. It's not happening. Sometimes it's not because of something you're doing. Sometimes God is just walking you through. He's walking you through. He's taking you into another level. He wants you. He's walking you through that journey. So, though I've come, though, although you pass through the valley of that fire, but after all, you still come out. You don't even smell like the fire. You don't smell smoke. You're still looking fine. So, sometimes God wants to use you for His glory to make people know that saving Him is wonderful. To make people know that He's the God of all human race. You could see in the Bible, you could see Daniel, Meshach, and Abednego. Although they were thrown in the fire, but yet the Bible said they came out from that fire and there was no smoke in their body. Daniel was put in the lion's den. Daniel came out from the Daniel said he used the lion like pillow and sleep on them. But when the other people were thrown, the, the lion just ate them. Shaka mentioned Abednego, the Bible said, I can see a food spirit. I can see a food human, a food person there, but they were put three people, which were the Holy Spirit um, um, protecting them. So all those things in your life uh, is possible to happen if only you believe. Okay, let's look at the Bible. Let's look at Zachariah said that Luke one eighteen says Zachariah asked the angel, "How can I be sure of this? I am an old man, and my wife is where um along in age." When the angel said he's going to have a baby, the angel said, "I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God. I've seen." I have been sent to speak to you and to tell you this good news. And now you'll be silenced, not able to speak until the days it happen. Because you did not believe my word, which should come true at an appointed time. Sometimes God needs to see our mouth. He needs to make us to... um. Sometimes the Holy Ghost needs to come and make us not to speak for a while. 
in order for our destiny not to be aborted i'm telling you we don't have to abort sometimes we use our own mouth to abort our own destiny sometimes the holy ghost needs to come to us and who our mouth not to abort our own destiny that's what happened to jack zachariah zachariah was dumb and everybody zachariah was wrong he didn't know until john the baptist was being given birth to that's when he spoke his name will be john and zachariah break by um tradition you know sometimes they say the baby's name in those days when a baby's name will be the father it will be junior like after the father they got to know he's coming with a new new anointing new generation the new new power new everything and john the baptist came his name is john you also look as about breaking barrier that would be another day about um when king Saul and david were in the battlefield remember when Goliath was disturbed and david came and told um, king Saul that he wants to help and fight um because um um Goliath is threatening the israelites so when Saul now came and gave um david his cloth like to put on david refused that he's not going to wear all what Saul put on like to fight a war he just have that his stone and his slot that he's going to fight Goliath with that was breaking generation also not because you what their forefathers did you're going to walk in the same pattern we break barriers god come with a new anointing new everything times are changing but above everything the word of god remains the same righteousness is the motto so i just came to tell someone this morning that do not abort your dream with your own mouth you have to keep your mouth shut see after you achieve your victory it's not everything you have to say it out there most of us have lost many things with us because we speak it before it even happened. Unfortunately, we tell the wrong people and the dream was being aborted. So I just want to thank everyone for watching me. Thank you very much. Share my video. Thank you. Marindo.